girl Rizzy, and I'm back again with another video. What's up, Karizzi's? It's your girl Rizzy, and I'm back again with another video for you guys. So we're at this Spanish place, and we got some burritos. It's so like it's open 24 hours. Seriously? Yeah. It's like one o'clock. What? What is that? Burrito juice. Mm. Spilling out of my burrito. So I would talk to you guys, but I want to take a bite first because I'm astonishingly hungry. It's so good, Charisma. Like, wow. Yeah. It's busting. That little last bite you just took. I love this place. Um. So, we need to eat since like 3 o'clock. We just came from, uh, to be honest, a face to face, to be honest. Like a big YouTube video. Like a big YouTube video with a whole bunch of people. It'll be dropping soon. I don't know when, but stay tuned. Not on my channel, somebody else's channel. Hold up, this burrito is good. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about today's day and age. Today's generation. Oh, people and people. So. The chicken naturally has tomato in it. That's the only thing I don't like. But I'm gonna eat it. It's my thing. Yeah. Guys, you know, it's these kids. I always pray. I pray every day, you know. Mm -hmm. I pray to God. Love God. I've been going through my trials and tribulations, but one thing about God, He's gonna steer me in the right direction. You got rice in yours? No. He did say rice, didn't he? Yeah. That's what I knew was missing in this. Maybe that's the supreme one that he was saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This one's still good, though. Yeah. Rice and beans, that's what we're missing in this burrito. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Oh, yeah. This day and age. God always gonna guide me in the right direction. He always gonna, you know, keep me sane, whatever. But, you know, I'll be really praying that when I do get as big as I wish to be, that as I'm humble. Pray to me. I pray to, like, stay humble, always know where I came from, know that I didn't always have it good, whatever. And also, y'all gotta stop looking at other people's lives on social media. With so much praise. Yeah, and fantasizing over that life. Because you never know what people are going through behind closed doors. You never know, like literally, you never know how happy they really are. The fake smiles and stuff that they do on camera. Because anybody can pull out a camera and just like record and like be happy. And as soon as the camera goes off, they're back to whatever they on. Yeah. You just never know people's life. You never know what somebody's really thinking. It's crazy. And one of the best advice I would give would be like um, to protect your peace and protect your energy. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is... I just tweeted that yesterday. Protect your on. peace. Because people come. It's not. Sometimes it's not even people. Sometimes it's money. Objects come in different ways. Cars, money, materialist Instagram. That stuff can disturb your peace. It don't even have to be people. So... I feel like if you're naturally an energetic person, living in your purpose, living as you, and not trying to bash anyone that's not, some, sometimes people are too scared to live in their true self because you never know. Like, this world is cruel. There are some cruel people out here. But if you're living in your purpose and living as you, because doing what makes you happy and not caring, that kind of makes a lot of other people, like, mad. And it's not like a mad where it's just like, I hate that girl. It's an internal mad thing. It's 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 deeper, you know. Like internally, they're fighting whatever they're fighting. So it's just like, why are you so happy? You know what I mean? And jealousy turns into envy. Always, always. I gotta know that. Now, if you don't know, know it. Know it now. Jealousy is literally just a cover up for people just hating you. And a lot of the times, people when people say mean things to you. Or when people bully you or people are saying things out of proportion, negative to you, they're just projecting their inner self onto you because they're not happy. With I themselves. promise you. I promise you. Nobody that's okay and content with themselves would ever come at other people. Come at another person. I promise you. Well, if you're not happy, you're unhappy, you're gonna try to portray to make other people unhappy as well. That's 
that's it. Especially the people you care about. The people that you call your friends and stuff. If you sit there and you like, girl, your hair is ugly. Like, let's be real. Like, stuff like little comments like that. Those people are really fighting something inside of them. And it's really sad. All you can do is pray for those people. You can't try to fix them. You can't just pray for them. God will do the fixing. That's why. Damn shit, watery as hell. It is watery. Look at this puddle of water I got. I don't want my pants. Now is the time. Don't pour your water on my stuff. I'd rather pour it in there than get it in the car. The last thing. I feel like now, especially this generation, a lot of people are more, like my mom was telling me, like, this generation is very emotional. Very emotional. Can't joke about shit no more. Our parents' generation, our grandparents, they had tougher skin. I also feel like, I don't want to say program, but I'm going to say program. I don't know if that's the right word. But you know, they're programming you know, they they up. Huh? They were brought up. They were brought up to live life a certain way. Do this, go to school, house and kids. You know, like, they're, they're by American a rule book. Dream. Like a rule book. Like, you know, this is the perfect life for you, American dream, whatever. And I feel like the generation we're in now, it's a blessing and a curse. That a lot of people are waking up to, that's not how I want to Live we're life. making our own decisions for ourselves and breaking out of these like generational curses and stuff but these people don't know how to be themselves in the midst of that and they don't know how to let other people be themselves how you don't know how to be yourself and not let nobody else be themselves or how you mad that somebody else being themselves and you gotta tear them down because you can't be yourself <laughs> I get it it's all an internal thing nobody's focusing on themselves these days they gotta Wear this or wear that to impress this and impress Everybody that. Is, that's what they say. Everybody's worried about the next man when it comes to what they got on. How they, so they, they care about what they got on, but they also want to impress the next man. Why he got that mask on his car like that? You see that? He got a Michael Myers mask on his car. It was just all me a few days ago. I'm scary though. A lot of people really go through stuff. Like respectfully, even me. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna keep it a beat with y'all. Off camera, I do go through stuff. Like, I would say these past months that I've like moved out here and stuff were like a great, how can I say, mental strengthener. Since I moved out here, I'm talking about August, September, my mind has been on A game mode. And I feel like I allowed myself to sink back into yeah. that. No, you see my little chocolate right there. Jeez. I'm I still just hungry. To wrap it up. I'm still hungry too. I might better get it. No, whatever. I can't. Mm -mm. We need chips. Oh my god, they need to go chips. We need a rice in there. Yeah. We should have got the Supreme. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I feel like I allowed myself to sink back into that place where I was like not as happy and started beating myself up. And then I had to think like, girl. Chasing them dreams, girl. What are you doing? Don't shit on yourself. There's a reason why you came out here. There's a reason why you did all this. There's a reason why God guided you out here. You were here to chase some dreams. What happened? Look at all this shit. Oh my God. Hurry. You like hurry. There's no napkins. Oh, right here, right here. Damn, bro. You just can't even talk. Life's too short to be living for someone else and worry about the next man, yeah. Life's too short to be not chasing the dreams you want to chase. I feel like, you know, if you fail, if you fail, okay, this is what I also know. Failure is only failure if you stop, respectfully. Failure only is failure if you stop. If you fail, that means you stop and gave up. If you don't give up, how can you fail if you keep going, you know what I'm saying? And if you fail at something, you gotta pick yourself back up. That's why I feel like failure is not a real thing. It's not. I think that failure is not you real. You can't fail. You can't. I think that fi another word that we should start using for failure is just trial and error. More so failure. 
you try something and it didn't work out think of a different way think of think a different, of a different way. plan There's no try another way failure you know you just did it it just didn't work it doesn't mean failure you didn't fail i mean it just didn't you got to go back in and think of another way to reach the same goal reach the same dream maybe it didn't work that way because it worked for somebody else but it didn't work for you because everybody has a different story everybody has a different life to live so try again and again and again until you reach where you want to reach Ooh, that was good it was good but i wish we had rags in it i ain't complaining what nothing you're not complaining but you complain complaining low key that was our little ted talk um just be true to yourself yeah, yeah. and people the right people will gravitate towards you if you're true to yourself it's just Correct. like you know when you're very content with yourself and close with God and then you go out you realize how not content people are with themselves and how ungodly people really are and how unhumble people really are you know like flashy flashy oh I got this oh I got this but it's like you're not even happy you know what I'm saying this is why I say money doesn't buy happiness and it's true and another reason why I think like I just feel like I'm very much getting my humble humble humbleness you know what I mean I'm getting I'm getting real humbled actually God could really if he really wanted to make niggas Beyonce by tomorrow I just feel like a lot of these people that we've been meeting need to understand that everything that they have right now can be gone by tomorrow in an hour in a snap of a finger and it's not for the finger. So if God didn't want you to have that nice ass car you drive. You would have yes. hit that shit or somebody would have stole something would have happened. You so know instead I mean? of saying instead of saying I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this, start saying I'm grateful to have this, I'm grateful to have this. Because not everyone, not yes. everybody has that. And it's like you gotta be grateful. Like I understand you put the work in and all that, but respectfully still it, remember that you didn't have that shit yesterday. Anyways, y'all. That was just a little talk, a little vid, a TED talk, a little TED talk. Y'all be wanting us to talk all the time, and y'all be wanting us, you know, to just rant, rant. All right, bet. Yes. Peace out, y'all.